Well, I mean, of course, it's a very dark uh, and very sad time. Uh, and the first thing that has to be said is an utter, an utter and complete condemnation of the killing and the killers. Um, the thing about how to read what's past and also how to read what's coming uh, is almost in some ways the same thing. And it's to reject the binaries that we're being forced into about choosing one side over the other, about saying that the army is right or the army is wrong and the Muslim Brotherhood is right and the army is wrong. They're both wrong. They're both fundamentally and utterly wrong and they're both fundamentally fascist organizations. And what we're in right now is a moment in which we are transitioning between two attempts to, to create a fascist future for Egypt. Um, and I refuse both of those, um, as I have the whole way through. Um, the vision for the future uh, has to be an inclusive one. It has to be one inside, in, inside which uh, everyone is represented. What we are, we're, we're in a revolution. I know that term has become complicated in so many people's minds. But fundamentally what that means is you are trying to build the state anew. The Something Trump that's very difficult to understand very often for foreign audiences is that we live in a context in which there are no checks and balances. The checks and balances are provided by the street. And until we have a new constitution, until we have the organs of the state uh, uh, protecting people's rights, we're going to keep changing from one power to the next, and they're going to come in brutally, and they're going to try and force their agenda. Yeah, because again, it's looked like that the only strength that really matters is either the military strength or people power on the streets. There's no dialogue. There's nothing in between. Well. As I said, going back to the issue of binaries, everything is being framed as if the binary were Muslim Brotherhood and Army. The real binary, in my opinion, is between organized fascism, for which you have the Army and the Brotherhood, and disorganized social movements. Now, those social movements have proved time and time again that they will not accept authoritarian fascism as a status quo. We're in a very dark moment. It's going to take a very long time to get out of it. But the depression that you see in the streets of Cairo is a sign of what's to come because people will not accept to be brutalized in this way, whatever their background, whatever their political opinion. And all of those political opinions need to be included in the future of Cairo. But are you, are you saying then that there are many Egyptians who stand in the middle of what you see as two extremes? Absolutely. Absolutely. And they get, they get forgotten? They get drowned out? Of course they get drowned out. Because at the moment, if you're not part of an organized group, if you're not part of an organized social group... Yeah, no. You know what I mean? I'm not a question. 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 Are they, are they asking you whether you're part of tomorrow? They're asking if I'm from tomorrow, which I'm not. Which is the, the coalition that called for the ouster of Morsi.